we will rise This is a time Right guys, we are back on motherfucking YouTube after the Portugal shit show. So, I took you through what went on in Portugal. You know, right out of my hands guys, you know, what went on in my skin on my glutes, that kind of helped. And obviously, we tried working out a plan, well Carl did the plan, you know, trying to pull the water off because my body rolled in water with the things that were going off on my glute. You know, me and Carl's had a chat, moving forward, we're going to land the plane together this time. You know, it took a lot out of me, Portugal, mentally, physically, emotionally. I come back feeling lost, I come back feeling like my, not myself. I walked to foot bodybuilding off and I left my bands there, my trunks there. I kind of foot bodybuilding off. I sat my wife down for a little chat. I wanted some family time, I wanted to spend some time with my gorgeous daughter, Bloom. She could see I was lost emotionally and I wasn't myself. She said, just listen, we're going to get back to it. So we picked a show, Tampa Pro. We're two week out. I've not been in America before, so let's go over there, see what them boys are about, and bring the actual pitbull to the stage. So guys, today's rest day, I'm gonna take you through that. We're heading to Manchester for some blood work. I'm gonna have a cortisol injection on my shoulder. You see guys talking about our hard prep is diet, nutrition, things like that, cardio. Imagine I'm a stage four arthritis, guys, you know. This is what I've got to do, even to get on stage and pose. But it's all good. I'm living my life the way I want to live it, I'm living it in the fast lane. So, I'm going to make, it, make my meals now, I'll take you through them, then we'll get on the road. I'll show you what we're eating today. So I've got the mince cooking, extra lean mince. So today's rest day, we're doing two 200 gram mince meals with greens. And we're doing Little bit of turkey or chicken, whatever you want to call it, squirrel. So we've got 35 gram total rice. That is 35 carb. We'll do that twice. So 70 carb going in today. Eight grams of salt on a meal. So that's the rice portion, 35 gram with 200 turkey there. Eight grams of salt. Two 200 gram mince meals. Green beans, eight grams of salt, and my last meal will be salmon and greens. Someone's at the door, I hope it's not the police. I've not done anything wrong, I'm not guilty. I'm gonna make this now, and I'll see you guys in the motherfucking car. Right guys, landed at the 
the good lab. Inhale. This is their official headquarters. They've got you, yeah, they've got like a cold dip, the infrared sauna, do the blood work, the IVs, anything you want guys. Drop them a little message and they'll sort you out. Chris and the guys at Blood Lab have been looking after me for, I'd say well over four or five years. I'm one of the first athletes. The service is second to none. Not only does he read your bloods, but he'll also give you a call afterwards and explain the blood work and a plan moving forward. So I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna meet Chris and the gang. I'm gonna get some blood work done, maybe a little bit of IV, and go for a little plan two week out. And also my boy Chris, he's come for blood work. First time on YouTube, go on big dog. Right, let's get inside guys, let's go and see Chris and the gang. Let's get this blood work popping. Usually when you have IVs, sometimes you have like glucose put in um, to replenish obviously all your electrolytes and just give you a little push and make you feel a little bit better. But with me being so close to the show, I'm putting stuff in that I've used before and my body will be, it needs basically. So we'll do this first, this will drip in, in me nice and steady. Um, then I'll do blood work and then we'll do a glucophion push, which is a liver and kidney aid. Um, this all be done. This takes about 20-30 minutes to go in me. So I'm just going to chill, unwind, let this pump in me, and hopefully two week out I'll feel a little bit better. But my mindset right now is, is good. You know, I'm I'm very focused, determined, motivated. Probably more than I've ever been before, guys. You know, when something's taken away and it's out of your hands, you realise how, how bad you want it. I'm one man on a mission. You know, I always say talk is cheap and, you know, results count. And that's all that matters, the result of stage. Many men look good on Instagram or in the gym, but where it matters is stage. Um, 
like I said, Portugal were out of my hands, that can't be in control, you know, whatever we're going off my glue, you know, we're just out of my hands, but I'm in control on this one, we're going to land the plane, and no matter the result in, in Tampa, I'm going to be proud of this, because, yeah, there's going to be bigger guys, and I've never been in front of, you know, American judges before, I've never been in America, it took 10 years to get my visa, Steve Weinberger judging this, head Olymp Olympia judge, um, you've got Tyler Mannion there, so, I've all said this, if they don't like my look, there's no point me going to Olympia, I don't deserve to be there. So, it's going to tick, tick, tick in them boxes, become the best version of me, that's all you can be guys, you know. If you've got a golden life, if you're driven, if you've got a focus, you've got a purpose, don't stop chasing until you get there. So I'm going to let this drip in, I'm going to chill, and then I'll see you guys, maybe for blood work at the end. Right guys, that is blood work done, two week away from Tampa, I've had the full blood work panel done, um, I've also had an IV push, glutathione, vitamin C, B12, magnesium, that's all gone in, feel great, I'm going to get my meal number three in which is 35 gram of carb from rice and a little bit of turkey, 8 grams of salt, listen, sushi's coming, but not for three week. I'm going to nail this now, get some more water in and I'll see you guys on the road. Right guys, it is now 5 p.m. Getting number, meal number five in. We had a little change up because um, I want to announce now I'm sponsored by Revive Meals. So the guys at Revive Meals based in Sheffield have just dropped me some meals off. So I'm going to be testing the prawn out. I'm going to be 220 prawn. Same 35 gram of carb from rice. Um, like I said, I've only had two ri rice meals today. Total gram, 70 gram of carb for today. So I'm gonna bust this meal. I got a salmon for afterwards, but we're heading now. I'm gonna get cortisone, and I'm gonna get a saline solution blasted in my shoulder. You know, I got the stage four arthritis. This is the shit I gotta go through on prep. We're two week out. You know, posing's an issue, training's an issue right now. I've got real bad inflammation in that left shoulder, so I wanna aid the inflammation. I wanna make sure I can present my physique the best way I can in Tampa. So it's not ideal, guys, but this is my journey and I'm taking you through it. This is real life stuff. I told you from the start on my channel that I'm gonna be raw, real, and honest. So I'm gonna take you through, show you the big fucking needle going on my shoulder. It ain't pretty, guys, but this is the process of the pit bull. I'm gonna scram this. We're heading over now for about an hour journey. Riding dirty in Pav's Polo. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. <laughs> We're two week out. We don't care about all that. Guys, I'm gonna scram this. I will see you for cortisone. And then I've had, um, I've also had an IV drip as well, so it's a full needle day today, mate. Like a pink cushion. We're busy, just recharging it. We're calling over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Good eye and a lot. He comes in, mate, and he's, he's got all his gadgets with him. And I think to myself, I'm in pain, but that kid, I swear to God, he's fallen to bits, isn't he? So we injected uh, the chromium clavicular joint, a small amount of corticosteroid local effect, and that didn't affect the symptoms. No. So it was just part. Yeah. So then we injected the green humeral joint, the local anesthetic, instant like we did. Yeah. So I said, given the findings, a little bit of capsular restriction, with this in mind, when some patient concern and all that. So we put in your left one, we put a local anesthetic, a bit of an anti inflammatory. Yeah. And then we put in an Austinol Plus. Yes. And then I put in a little bit of saline solution just to expand it. Correct, mate, yeah. Give it a stretch, add in lubrication, and just to make sure in case that does flare up any inflammation, yeah. we just a tinge of corticosteroid. Yeah. But that's all right with your competition. It's intra-articular. Is that all right? Yeah, you? brilliant, mate, yeah. You, like I said, you're opening all, bodies. And yeah. All that Do you know, like last time we did it, yeah. there was nothing like that. post. Uh, I felt great, you know, like after a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Felt a bit more movement, getting a bit more out of it, and that's main people need just to get a bit more out of it, so I can pose hit my shots and get yeah, the yeah. inflammation around. I'm noticing just that, like when I train, even if I'm not doing any direct work on delts, I can see it's inflamed. Yeah. You know that shoulder, I can see it. So, well, your main thing, as you say, is your your outward rotation because yeah. from a from a capsular point of view, yeah. If you've got any restriction from there, when you'll get to there, yeah. To get the position, yeah. you're then going to have to change your yeah. back, yeah. your scapula. Can you remember last time we talked? We said that you can make a lot more moving, won't it? Yeah. If that gets to a point, then I'm going to start having. And you, you, you've got to compensate somewhere else. 100%. Because as you've got, um, that's not a pose, is it? No. So on this side, yeah. you've got to, which will lose your degree of symmetry, where you just right. want that pure rotation. It needs to come from the joint. Yeah not your scapula, not your thoracic spine. Correct. But it's not uncommon with the weights you're shifting and the duration that you get that irritation in your glenohumeral humor yeah. joint. The capsule becomes slightly inflamed and you get capsular tightening. Yeah. So you get this restriction of outward rotation, yeah. you get a restriction into flexion. Yeah. The combination of them both is that you're like here. 100% instead yeah. of up there. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we, we give it a stretch internally, we'll just yeah. put in another bit of like saline solution which will stretch it out. Yeah. Joint lubrication is a healthy thing, to yeah. coat your surface, let it slide and glide. Yeah. And a bit of corticosteroid will switch off any inflammation. So you don't, we minimise the chances of you having an inflammatory reaction. 100%. What have you got before your competition there? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Not right. Brilliant, mate. All right, there. Yeah, yeah. Like really yeah. 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 yeah.
it was a different problem. Yeah. Oh, that's not even the switch mm -hmm. that did that machine. Looks all right, so what legs tomorrow? So they'll be no loading on me up for half an hour, so. So basically, I'm not sure if you've got that. Over from there, yeah. this structure, this is your ball joint. Yeah. So as I come in with your arm there, we'll just not hit it on that. That's your ball joint moving. Yeah. yeah. And that articulates against this bit. Yeah. That bit there is your, your glenoid fossa. Right. Now you can see the ball, the ball joint over from there has got some irregularities on this bit and your capsule around here is thickened. Yeah. You can also see just underneath the arrow the joint space is reduced. Yeah. And that's where we get this tightness and this restriction. Yeah. So when we come to do the injection, we need to be coming in directly into that space there. So when I come in, we're coming in right in here and we drop straight down into that. Yeah. So I just check that I'm happy with that pro position. Yeah. That's where we'll come in. Are you okay in that position from there? I'm you fine. feel I'll that you can maintain it? Yeah, I'll be alright, mate. Yeah. joint space yeah. right between there. I'm just going to pop it middle of the screen and that's my target. Now I'll just give it a final little additional wipe here to put injection. So once we've gone in with the first one, I say I'm just going to change the syringe. So if you look at the screen now, you just see the tip of the needle. So I'm just dropping into the joint capsule. So just uh, right at the end, I'll try and make it shine a bit more. The little dot, it's just there. That little dot, you'll see it just we go around there, yeah? So that's my needle. So I know I'm in. So we just ask for it. I, I, so I know you're in. Clear. <laughs> and you just see some dispersal of the fluid. Yeah. So that there is all going inside the joint capsule.
that's that one in. And the final one, we're not going to go too mad. It's just a saline solution. That there, the capsules just released there. You see them expanding it. Tarnished, so gone out there with all this expectation, and like I felt like I let everybody down. A loads from UK come to watch me paid. So, like, I wouldn't have gone on stage two days out when that started coming up, clearing up. I'd have pulled short, I'd been like, I can't go and present this. But because everybody come to watch me, my wife and mum were there, all my pals were there, I thought I've got to show out for them. Yeah, I did one round of pose on stage, and I never went back out. And then after stage, because obviously we did um, pull the water and the diuretics and things. Three hours I passed out for. Yeah. I, did, I drank 10 litres of water and didn't take a piss for 24 hours. Yeah. That's how much my body was just like. Yeah, yeah, scary yeah. business, mate, you know. She speak with a lot of boxers because Sarah yeah. was trying to make weight gain. Yeah, mate, yeah. It's and the hydration. The hydration. So. Yeah, well, they, they say, like, certainly, certainly, there's, there's issues where they, there's concerns because if you lose that hydration, yeah, I mean, certainly if you're going to get it on the head. Yeah. Right guys, that has been a rest day in the life. That's what we have to go through, you know. 2019 when I turned pro, you know, I found out I got scanned up afterwards. I got stage 4 arthritis, you know, it's not fucking being easy. But, I've all said it, I've got a goal in life and uh, we ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm built different round here. So, this morning we had blood work for the blood lab with Chris. Uh, I also had an IV drip. My meals today, two 35 gram rice meals and carbs, but it's all gravy. Got two weeks to tamper, and what needs doing, needs doing. We're coming in skinless and nothing else will do. I got my own standard, and you better believe, no matter what happens, I'm coming in fucking pit bull peeled. Facts. Ain't gonna be no fucking dodginess on my arse this time. Riding dirty in the polo. Was this a new whip? New whip. <laughs> Credit crunch G. Tyro massive. week. So we're riding dirt in the polo. Big, big shout out to Pav, so I'll be back all, all day. You know, um, we've been back and forwards, G, we? All the way through Portugal, oh, Brett. All the way to Tampa, you know, and then it's going to be to the British, the, to the true athlete. And we'll just see what happens, man. I don't know if I'm going to stop there or we have got the old qualification or I don't know what happened, but like I said, guys, I'm going to take you on the journey from start to finish. And what will be, will be. So, in there, we'll just add. As you see, an eight centimetre needle straight back, straight back at Foggy's shoulder. Not pleasant, but it needs doing. You know, I went in, did uh, Austinol Plus, which is a hierarchic acid and a cortisone blend. That removes inflammation and will just try and give me a little bit of movement. It's mainly for that front double bicep and that back double bicep shots. Training, I'm working around it, guys. You know, I've not done any direct shoulder work for a long time. Do a little bit of side delts and rears, but no front delts. So, we make a plan, we work around it, and we, as always, we find a fucking way. If you've got a dream in life, you've got a goal in life, just find a way and get it done. You know, I, I always say, nothing in life worth having comes easy, and this is my journey. This is what i got to go through two weeks out from Tampa. But guys, as always, I appreciate the support. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel. Me and my boy Pav is going back-to-back -back vlogging videos. No fancy bullshit. Just one man and his little Canon camera 
doing bits. I'm going to get my last meal in, which will be another no carb meal. So I'm going to do salmon, 220 salmon, green beans. I'm going to get my pee and pills in. I'll do a separate video on all my health and support what I'm taking all year round and on prep. So you guys make sure you stay on top of your health. I'm going to nail this now, get back, see my beautiful wife, my beautiful babies. Life is good. We're two weeks out. Let's go, motherfuckers. Bands of people, gas mat 10 all day. Team on some shutdown. Let's fucking go.